We are continuing our coverage with our El Nino winter likely ahead for us as an El Nino here develops across Northwest. And what does that mean for our snowpack and our ski season at hand? Well, I was actually uh, chit chatting with one of our producers yesterday and I asked her if she knew what an El Nino was. And the first thing she said was, oh, yeah, it means it's a lame ski season or we're expecting a lame ski season. And she's not to all incorrect. So uh, we typically get below average snowfall. Here's a look at the past six El Nino. Uh, winters there and looking at uh, 0405 and 2014 15 those winters were exceptionally bad our snow depths up at Mount Hood very much below normal so a look through March here uh, we got close so typically we do see below normal snowpack here across uh, the mountains and especially out at the Mount Hood there but there are many variables that go into what makes a good ski season like how much new snow comes how often it comes is it going to melt pretty quickly is it icy or is it more more of a powdery type. So there are many uh, aspects that go into it and below normal snowpack doesn't directly mean a poor ski season. So I think this year we're looking at below normal snowpack, but I think uh, we'll see uh, an, uh, a more uh, snow or moisture as we head towards the second half of the year. Uh, mainly in an El Nino, we get uh, below or above normal temperatures. So that'll be the biggest impact they're bringing us. Maybe a more wet snowpack as we head towards the second half of the winter. So overall, I think it'll still be a good season for uh, skiing up there. So if you have plans to buy a season's pass, or you're unsure. I think you should go ahead and do it and we'll see a fairly OK ski season again ahead for us. Here's a look at our current temperatures, though. This morning we are dealing with very chilly temperatures. 29 degrees now in Hillsboro. We've cracked the 30s for many areas here in the Metro. 36 now in Tigard. Lake Oswego at about 40 degrees. 37 out at West Lynn and in uh, the East Metro area, Happy Valley. 37 Portland. The airport there sitting at 38 degrees. So we are cold and especially heading up towards uh, Southwest Washington there along I-5. We drop into the uh, low 30s too. So watching out for some frost out there as well. Here's a photo sent in to us by our assignment editor Adele. She had frost on her windshield this morning, so likely uh, some cars out there seeing this even on the roadways too. You might want to give an extra five to ten minutes to scrape that off your windshield uh, this morning. So we're also dealing with fog too. Visibility is down to about a mile and a half here for the metro area up into Vancouver. Same for out towards the coast, down in parts of the valley too. Salem faring okay at the moment, but we'll see that fog lingering in and out. And through this morning, I will likely keep that fog around. And by about noon time, getting some sun breaks and sunshine back in the mix. Wanted to show the pet walk forecast one more time because I didn't do it justice earlier this morning. Here's a look at Bailey, a cute pup. Uh, so thank you for sending this in. And also here is Callie enjoying a nice fall outfit and some leaves on the ground. You should really frame that photo. Looks beautiful there. A nice uh, pup and a good smile too. Temperatures today in the mid 50s. It'll still be a chilly morning. So wear a heavy jacket out the door by this afternoon. A bit more mild though, but still a light jacket uh, likely needed as you head towards the afternoon with more sun breaks there at the coast today. We'll see highs in the upper 50s to the low 60s, a gentle breeze from the northeast and some afternoon sun as well in Portland today. 56 out there. That's about average for this time of the year with afternoon sun. Again, we're expecting dry conditions for much of the rest of the week and throughout the weekend as well. In Central Oregon in the uh, mid 50s, beautiful sunshine out that way and the gorge again watching out for temperatures below freezing for tonight. Again, that freeze warning does expire at 9 a.m. this morning, but another night ahead uh, with those below freezing uh, temperatures out there and same for our lows tonight across the valley. We'll see those dipping back down towards the mid 30s again. So cold as we head into our morning. And here's our seven day forecast. We'll keep those highs in the mid 50s, lows near the 30s and low 40s into the weekend, but dry conditions likely persisting as we head towards Sunday and Veterans Day uh, there on Monday. We'll be back with more news, weather and traffic after the break.